the letters A and O and your handwriting. I'm Fiona Mikaya and in this video we're going to look at the lowercase letters A and O and how they show in handwriting and what they mean, how the different strokes, the different ways of writing them, the different meanings that gives. We'll also take a look at the capital letters. So if you've ever wondered what your A and O mean or you'd like to change it and get something new, this is the video for you. So A and O in handwriting coming right up. The letters A and O and handwriting. The letters A and O are called circle letters since each of these letters comprises almost entirely of a circle. D and G are also included in this since they also have a circle as part of the letter. The traits that show in circle letters are honesty, secretiveness, self-deceit, intentional deceit, talkative and non-talkative or reticent. But first, a quick quiz. Which writing below shows any of the following traits? Talkative, secretive, intentional deceit or self-deceit? You can pause the video if you like to have a better look and the answers will be at the end of this video. Honesty shows where the A, O, G, or D is written without a loop. The circle can be open or closed, but there must be no retracing or loop. So there's the example there. There's a G, a couple of A's, what's well, two G's and a couple of A's. And they're open in this example, but you'll see there's no loops or hooks. They're just what we call clean circles. And there's one that's closed, the D, the O, the two O's, they're all closed, but again, there are no loops and no hooks, so that shows honesty. Secretiveness shows where the A, O, or G is written with a loop on the right-hand side of the letter. This can't show in a D because the right-hand side is also the stroke, which extends upwards beyond the lowercase letters, so the loop is something quite different. So not in the D. Again, the circle can be open or closed. So there's one with it in the O, the circle on the right-hand side, and that's the word want with it on the right-hand side of the A. Self-deceit shows where the A, O, G, or D is written with a loop on the left-hand side of the letter, and D can be included in this one because it's the left-hand side, not the right. Again, the circle can be open or closed. Now the A in handwriting has a loop on the left, so that's showing self-deceit. The D is open and it's got no loop, so that's not showing self-deceit and we can't really tell what's happening in the G at the end there. In the word hand, we'll see the um, self-deceit in the A with the loop on the left-hand side and again, it's difficult to tell what's happening in the D. But that's self-deceit when the loop is on the left. Intentional deceit shows when the A, O, or G is written with a loop on both the right-hand side and another on the left-hand side of the circle letter. This cannot show in a D because the right-hand side is also the stroke which extends upwards beyond the lowercase letters. So just the A, O, or G for this one. Again, the circle can be open or closed. There's the word how with a loop on both the left and the right hand side showing intentional deceit. And clearer even yet is only an any, the O and the A both have loops on both the left and the right hand side showing intentional deceit. Talkativeness shows when the A, O, G, R, D is written with the circle open. Whether or not there are loops doesn't matter for this trait it only matters if, they're op if the circle letters are open or closed. And there you'll see both an E and a D left open. And again, A's, two A's and a G left open. And here we've got an A and an O. So circle letters left open, talkativeness. 
So from that, it makes sense that non-talkativeness will show where the A-O-G-R-D is written with the circle closed. Whether or not there are loops, again, doesn't matter for this trait. So there's all the loops closed in D, A and two Gs. There's one, this has a mixture. The A in a round is open. The O and the D are closed. So that person has talked some of the time, but is actually better at listening. And this one is all closed. So again, non-talkativeness. Talkativeness and non-talkativeness and non-talkativeness can also be called reticent. They're best when they're balanced. So you've got a bit of each. You've got some talkativeness and some non-talkative. This indicates that a writer who will both participate in conversation and listen to others. And there's the example again of a round. The A is open, the O and the D are closed. Capitals written the same way as the lowercase letters mean the same as if they were lowercase. Capitals that are printed indicate that the writer has artistic appreciation. So you'll see the three with the red arrows are written the same way as they could be if they were lowercase. The and and over show honesty. The second over on the right shows intentional deceit. And the and on the top right shows artistic appreciation. So here's a last look at the quick quiz. Which writing below shows any of the following traits? Talkative, secretive, intentional deceit or self-deceit. Again, you can pause the video if you like to have a better look and you'll have the answers in just a few seconds. So that's it for the letters A and O and we also included the bits that show in the D and the G that are the same, but mainly this is on the A and the O. So when circle letters are closed, it shows non-talkativeness. When there are no loops or hooks, it shows honesty. When there's a loop on the right-hand side, it's secretive. A loop on the left-hand side shows self-deceit. When there's a loop on both sides of any circle letter, it shows intentional deceit. A circle letter that's left open is talkative. And as you see above, any that's closed is non-talkative. And a capital letter that is printed shows artistic appreciation. That's it for letters A and O. This is practicalhandwritinganalysis.com. Right on. Practical Handwriting Analysis, Graphology Explained. This book will inform, educate and entertain. Practical Explanations with Clear Illustrations A professional looking character sketch template plus character sketch guidelines to make it easy for you to fill it out fast. Plus there are instructions on how to throw a handwriting party. Everything you need to become an amateur graphologist. Here are the answers to the quick quiz. Which writing below shows any of the following traits? Talkative, secretive, intentional deceit or self-deceit. In the first example, you'll see the A's in both words had a loop on the right hand side, so that's secretive. Also, the A's are both close, so that's non-talkative. So this is a secretive, non-talkative writer who keeps things pretty much to himself. In this one, you'll see some self-deceit in the first A with the loop on the left-hand side and some honesty in the second A and also in the D where there are no loops at all. Both the A's and the D's are closed, so that means this is a non-talkative writer. In this one, all the circle letters have no loops, so it's a very honest writer. The first two the A and the D are open, so that's talkative, and the G is closed, so that's non-talkative. So whether this writer is talking or not, they're going to be honest. How did you do?